let's look at square root of complex numbers and let's try to find the square root of 9 minus 5i okay so uh, let's let's say x uh, this is equal to x plus i y right so now if we remove the square root here the other side is gets squared right so 9 minus 5 i is equal to x plus i y the whole square so which means this becomes x square or uh, if we take it step by step x square plus 2 x y i plus i square y square so x square minus y square plus 2 x y i okay so this becomes equal to x square minus y square plus 2 x y i so equating the real part we get x square minus y square equal to 9 and minus 5 equal to 2 x y yes okay let's keep it pending this is 1 let's say this is 2 now uh, we want x plus x square plus y square right so x square plus y square if we want the whole square of it would be what this would be x square the whole square plus 2 x square y square plus y square the whole square right now we want this to become negative 2 minus 2 right so if you want this to become we want this to become negative right so let us say if we want to begin with it is plus we want this to become minus so let's make it minus right and what we do is to make sure that it remains as plus 2 we say plus 4 x square y square you see the trick so what happens is 4 x square y square minus 2 x square y square remains as 2 x square y square okay but by doing this we have changed this now we have changed this to what x square minus y square the whole square plus 4 x square y square now we know what is x square minus y square right it is 9 so 9 square plus we know what is 2 x y is because this can be written as 2 x y the whole square right so this is nothing but minus 5 the whole square right so 9 square is 81 plus 25 6 one zero six it becomes now x square plus y square becomes what square root of one zero six and we ignore the negative sign negative root one zero six okay now we have got x square plus y square equal to square root of one zero six let's see whether we can root it out one zero six 2, 5, 2, 3. No. Okay. We know x square minus y square equal to 9. So, what happens? 2x square equal to square root of 106 plus 9. Right. So, x square equal to square root of 106 plus 9 by by 2 which means x is equal to 106 plus 9 by 2 don't don't worry if you get a uh, square root under square root just take it as a set of numbers and keep solving take x square minus y square equal to 9 
so here the square root disappears because of the square so we are left with 106 plus 9 by 2 minus y square equal to 9 let's take it to the other side so we get 9 minus square root of 106 plus 9 by 2 so 18 minus square root of 106 plus 9 by 2 which is equal to 18 plus 9 plus 8 17 127 minus square root of 106 by 2 now y becomes what first we take the negative sign to the other side so this becomes square root of 106 minus 27 by 2 and this becomes square root of yes so the square root of 9 minus 5i is equal to what first take the real part real part is square root of square root of 106 plus 9 by 2 and the imaginary part 106 minus 27 by 2 i yes so this is the square root okay normally in textbooks they would have given you know problems which are straightforward where you don't get this type of root under root and all that say for example let's take 7 7 minus 24i and let's say we want to find the root so x plus yi 7 minus 24i equal to square of this so x square plus y square and because of that i square this will become minus plus 2xy so now we are uh, we end up with x square minus y square equal to 7 the real part and 2xy equal to minus 24 which is the imaginary part okay now uh, we need a simultaneous linear equation kind of thing so what we require is let's say x square plus y square right now remember x square plus y square we can get through the formula of the whole square so x square plus 2x square y square plus y square the whole square if we want this to become minus what do we do we change this to y x minus and then we add 4 so when we simplify this it becomes plus 2x square y square so this whole thing becomes x square minus y square the whole square plus 4x square y square now we know what is x square y square x square minus y square which is 7 square which is 49 we know what is 4x square y square we know 2xy square of that is 4x square y square so we require minus 24 square which is 576 so this becomes 625 okay so now if we take the whole square to that side it will become square root and again we ignore negative right so this becomes 25 x square plus y square we already know x square minus y square equal to 7 
okay so x square minus y square equal to 7 so these two gets cancelled so 2x square is equal to 25 plus 7 is 32 so x square equal to 16 so x equal to plus or minus 4 plus or minus 4 by the way here also we should have plus or minus and here also plus or minus okay 2xy equal to 2xy equal to minus 24 so 2 plus or minus 4 y equal to minus 24 So plus or minus 8y equal to minus 24, y is equal to plus or minus 3. Now since 2xy is minus 24, negative sign, that means x and y are opposite signs. So So plus 4 or minus 3, plus 4 and minus 3 or minus 4 and plus 3. So square root of square root of 7 minus 24i is equal to plus or minus 4 minus 3i. Okay, in the same way, uh, just like here we identified that the x and y are op opposite signs, similarly we have to do it here as well. Now here if you notice, uh, here 2xy is equal to minus 5, right? So 2xy equal to minus 5, that means x and y is equal to minus 5, a negative number. That means x and y have to be opposite sides. Why? Because when you multiply plus and minus, you get minus. Minus plus, you get minus. But if you multiply plus plus, it becomes plus. Minus minus, it becomes plus. So since here it is minus, these two are not applicable. So it has to be opposite signs which means what let's create some space and okay so which means now here this is also plus this is also plus so here i need to be careful i need to write it in such a way that one of them is minus and the other is plus plus or minus let's x x is what x is 106 by 2 root 106 plus 9 root 106 plus 9 by 2 right minus minus i square root of 106 minus 27 by 2 yes so now here what happens when we take this plus this becomes plus this becomes minus when we take this minus this becomes minus that becomes plus okay so that is the square root of this complex number now so let us say we take we want to find the square root of uh, a plus i b right so we would uh, do what we would write x plus i y and then we will take the square root to the other side or square both the sides so x square plus i x y 2 x i x y plus i square y square so x square 
because of that i square will become minus y square plus 2xy okay now if if whatever we have done in the problems we do it with these variables itself right uh, we will end up with a formula kind of thing using which we can easily find the square root let's actually do it now here uh, equate the real and imaginary parts x square minus y square equal to a and 2xy equal to b yes so now what do we need we require x square plus y square remember so x square plus y square the whole square equal to x square the whole square plus 2x square y square plus y square the whole square now we want this to become minus so x square the whole square minus 2x square y square plus y square the whole square minus sorry plus 4x square y square so this becomes x square minus y square the whole square plus 4x square y square right and we know what this is x square minus y square is a so this becomes a square plus we know this is 2xy the whole square so which becomes b square right so we have ended up with a square plus b square. okay square rooting both the sides we get x square plus y square is equal to square root of a square plus b square we don't take the negative side because x square plus y square has to be greater than zero now let's remember we already have x square minus y square is what a right so let's solve this so we have 2x square equal to square root of a square plus b square plus a right so x square is equal to square root of a square plus b square plus a and we can take this and put it to half right now that we have x square remember we already have 2xy equal to b right so 2xy equal to b so let's put 2 square of this so 1 by 4 square of this so square of this would be what a square plus b square plus 2 square root of a square b square a plus a square 2 x y equal to b now let's uh, substitute uh, this x in one of the equations so we end up with half x square and that is this one square root of a square plus b square plus a minus y square equal to a yes let's take this to the other side so we end up with a minus half square root of a square plus b square plus a so if you take this lcm we get square root of a square plus b square plus this a is outside the root so a right by 2 isn't it 2a and this minus this is actually minus minus into plus so this is minus so what we end up with is 2a minus a is a minus square root of a square plus b square by 2 and when we take this is minus y square so when we take the minus to the other side we end up with a square plus b square minus a by 2 
So if you notice x square and y square, the only difference is that they are in a way conjugate of each other. Right? Okay. And if we take uh, uh, x and y values, remember if x, x square is what? Half of a square plus b square plus a. So, this whole thing would go into root, right? This whole thing will go into root a square plus b square square root of plus a by 2 this will be plus or minus right and this will be plus or minus and y will be equal to plus or minus plus or minus square root of a square plus b square minus a by okay now you have x and y now what we have to figure out is the sign okay so to figure out the sign just remember if b now remember what is b the imaginary part if b is positive if b is positive then square root of a plus i b will be equal to plus or minus square root of within that square root of a square plus b square by 2 and a this will remain the same this will become plus okay and uh, this plus or minus the whole thing let's take it inside the bracket and since b is positive this will also be positive right again this remains the same a square plus b square minus a by 2 right okay so now if you take plus if you take the plus part then this also becomes plus this also becomes plus if you take minus both of them will be minus now this will be the case remember 2xy equal to something now if this is positive remember this is equal to b actually 2xy equal to b so if this is positive then they both have to be positive or they both have to be negative so that when you multiply them they will remain positive okay now if b is negative that means what that means 2xy equal to negative right so that means what one of them has to be positive so if x is positive y has to be negative if x is negative y has to be positive now to make sure that happens a plus ib square root of a square plus b square plus a by 2 right and this you take it as minus minus i within that a square plus b square minus a by 2 yes so now if you take plus what happens this becomes plus this becomes minus if you take minus this becomes minus this becomes plus so they are opposites okay by the way have you noticed uh, you can actually simplify this formula for your so that you can remember it easily by shortening this right square root of complex number is equal to plus or minus yes square root of now what is square root of a square plus b square remember this is nothing but the modulus right so use the modulus symbol plus now what is a a is nothing but the real part of the complex number divided by 2 plus 
i again modulus of complex number minus real of real part of complex number divided by 2. Now this happens when the imaginary part of the complex number is greater than 0. Yes, in that case both will be plus or both will be minus. Okay. Similarly, take it as and now again in this case also real part of complex number divided by 2 and here you make it minus and this becomes right divided by 2. Now this is if imaginary part of this is less than 0. Okay. Now if you find this difficult to remember, remember even if you don't remember the formula, you can just do the whole thing the long way like we did in the previous examples. Right. But remember, don't forget to take care of that positive negative sign. Right. That you have to take care. So I think that's enough for today. Bye for now.